Counseling Micro Skills Synthesis 4 with Sandra Collins and Gina Co. Gina, welcome. Um, last time we met, we started to move a little bit into talking about time and time commitments. And I'm wondering if that's a place where you would like to start today. What micro skill was that? Providing transparency. Very much so. Mm -hmm. um, yes. After last time, after we met last time, it made me think about actually um, quite a bit about my values. So I'll share something with you. I don't think I shared last time. So I'm starting a podcast. Um, it's called Against the Tides of Racism. Um, I actually started about three weeks ago. And I have interviewed seven guests. I've, I've secured many, many more. I've been cutting editing videos by myself. Um, I've got some help uh, doing my website. Uh, my cousin's helping me. I do have a tech person who's trying to help me with sound. Anyway, I realize that this is, I, I don't know, I'll use the word calling. It's just something that is so close to my heart. And, and I, I wake up excited every day to, to dive in. But, and I also know that I, I, there's limited time. I'm a full faculty member at another university. I teach as a sessional instructor for Athabasca. I have a private practice, I have children, and the, the list goes on and on. Um, but I, I think I know this is something that, I, that needs to be done and I am the person to do it. I'm, I'm the host of the podcast and I'm meeting amazing people that I would not have met. And one of the ministers that works closely with Justin Trudeau said yes to me. So I just want to say that oh. it's really, really cool. Wow. So, mm -hmm. It's interesting to listen to you talk because I can hear how passionate you are about this. What micro skill was that? Reflecting meaning. And one of the things that um, that I noticed as you were talking is how you were able to just um, grab onto a need and create something new and run with it. And then look at how it's blossomed into something quite amazing. What micro skill was that? Offering affirmations. Well, a part of the, uh, so the aim of the podcast, and I might not be exactly remembering the words, so it's fostering community, creating awareness and transformation, right? Mm -hmm. So some of my guests are lawyers, some of them are psychologists, social workers, and the minister, um, and from even young people, I have a youth ambassador who is only 16, uh, uh, championing the Asian Gold Ribbon campaign, uh, Dr. Gina Wong is one of my guests. So. So anyhow, there, there is a lot of passion there for sure. Um, there's also now I have to think about planning my, my days, my weeks. So the weekend is my podcast time, but it's also time with my family. Mm -hmm. So that's where sometimes I, yeah, there's some really, I need to be thoughtful mm -hmm. with my, my scheduling. Yeah, so even though this is something that's new and exciting, there's a tension because there's not a lot of space in your life to fit in something even when it is new and exciting. What micro skill was that? Reflecting meaning. Right, right. So <clears throat> to give some information, a podcast episode takes about two and a half to three hours because really before I record, we sometimes I haven't really met them really at all and then saying hello and explaining it and then recording it and then it could be an hour to an hour and a half doing that and then after editing and cutting so really it's one podcast episode could be about yeah two to three hours of my Saturday or Sunday right mm -hmm. and that's two to three hours I'm not spending with my children so one thing that I think I'm pretty good at is only one per day <laughs> um, I don't think I've tried to squeeze in two so I think that in that way I'm doing it well um but it also means that I'm not seeing as many clients on the weekend. So that means I'm kind of saying no to certain new clients too. So mm -hmm. in our previous conversation, you were talking about how you wanted to slow down a little and kind of create some breathing space for yourself, especially now that you're in a new job and 
um, realizing that um, you need to step back a little in order to figure out who you want to be in this professional world. Um, and yet I hear you describing this new project that's now grabbing onto you and taking you into really exciting places and yet demanding a considerable amount of time. So I'm wondering about that um, inconsistency and, and how you're making sense out of those two pieces of yourself. What micro skill was that? Exploring inconsistencies. Mm hmm. And, and it's interesting that you, you, you're noticing the inconsistency because it also has to do with my values, too. So my value of family time, being a good mom and a good spouse and, you know, a good auntie. And then and then the, this other side where it's pulling me to this social justice, anti-racism um, project. Um, so that's why, that's why I'm here to talk to you about this, Sandra. It's, it's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because clearly both pieces are parts of yourself that you highly value and that bring you a lot of sense of meaning. Uh, and yet, there is this push-pull between the two. What micro skill was that? Summarizing. Yes. And um, so going back to scheduling and planning, I, um, you saw, again, you, saw, you know me quite well, Sandra, you know, I work early mornings, right? Five o'clock in the morning, I, I jump on my computer and I do get a lot of work done. So with my faculty position and my supervis supervisory role at uh, City University Calgary campus, um, I, 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 right at this point, I, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm appreciated students, appreciate me and my, my, my colleagues as well. So, so it's less of that and it's more, yeah, again, the family and then this project I have on the side, which is um, something that I can't stop doing. And it's just the beginning of it. And I do have to invest time. But as I'm talking as well, Sandra, I feel like the, the big parts of it is kind of uh, is learning the technology and which is I'm not an expert at, but I'm feeling a bit better. So I think the big part of the um, starting up is it's going well now, right? So, so maybe it's more reminding myself, Gina, you know, you know yourself one guest per day on a Saturday, one guest on a Sunday and, and don't overload it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sounds like it might also be important to um, remind yourself of how good you are at juggling these multiple things. It's certainly something that I have seen in you. And, you know, like you said, you're able to be disciplined about when you get up and you accomplish a lot in a short period of time. What micro skill was that? Offering affirmations. So I'm wondering if, if that reminder to yourself of your strength in negotiating all of those pieces and somehow managing them um, helps to take some of the, the sense of worry away about this. What micro skill was that? Questioning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's a good point, Sandra. That's a good point. I um, I do that kind of in passing, but I, maybe I need something more, a, a, a tangible reminder or something that, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that would be helpful, especially moments when I feel, start to feel overwhelmed. You know, am I going to meet certain deadlines? Which I always do, but it's just those moments, right? But it's close. What kind of tangible... Um, reminder might be useful to you in terms of just positioning this um, dilemma in a bit different way. What micro skill was that? Questioning. Um, right away, I'm thinking about, so on, on my website, there's a logo that my daughter Maya made. She, she drew it on her iPad. So it's got the tide and um, the, you know, against the and the two mics against the tides of racism. I, I, I really, she did a really good job and maybe it's something that I can even print out and put in front of me to remind myself the purpose of, of doing a pro, uh, starting a huge project like that and Maya drew it right she did it herself so it's also reminding me of both you know, family and then also the the project mm -hmm. I really like that actually mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So it provides you with that sort of visual cue that um, both of these things are important to you and both of them are valuable and you are investing in both of them. I mean, even by involving Maya in this project is, is bringing family and work together in the places where you're really passionate. What micro skill was that? Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And my children are amazing. So Cohen, my young boys, my tech support person, Maya is my artistic person and my cousin, my website designer. Yeah, I, I, I think that, that, that would work, Sandra. I'm, I'm glad we talked about that today. And it's a great opportunity for you to model for them some of the things that you're passionate about and to um, capitalize or um, build their skill set in a way that will support them as they carry on in life. What micro skill was that? Reflecting meaning. Well, yeah, we talk about, we talk developmentally appropriate, of course, a lot of these these issues, right? Challenges right now. And, um, and they have a lot to say. And they, they said, mommy, we, we just need to be more under, we need more kindness. We need less racism and less hate. And they're, they're outspoken about, about those things with me. And I love sitting down with my children to talk about these, of course. So there's also fun topics we talk about, but yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it is in many ways more integrated than in the conversation at the beginning. It seemed like these were a little bit more separate. And when you talk about them now, it seems like there is a whole this here to what you're involved in the choices that you're making. What micro skill was that? Summarizing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, one more thing, Sandra, if it's okay, or sorry, uh, yeah, you, go just, ahead. You, just, you just made me think of one of the, one of the, one of the beginnings of this journey is I was, at, I was invited by ACT to End Racism, the, the coalition, to do a presentation about how to talk to youth about racism. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got started. Mm -hmm. So what you just said made me, it, it solidified for me, it actually is integrated and not separate at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect sense.